I got a question for you guys. Do you like scary movies? Do ya? Cause today I've got the NECA ghost face. The ultimate ghost face action figure. But is it? Let's see guys. What's behind the mask? So this is from NECA, NECA Real Toys. On the top, we got the usual NECA stuff, ghost face. All the legally stuff on the bottom. On the side, you got a picture of the titular killer from the Scream movies. Now, the reason that you don't see Scream anywhere on this is, as far as I know, they only have the license to the costume, which is a weird one. So, no actor's heads, unfortunately, in this box before we go on any further. On the back, you do get a picture of Ghostface here. Mask glows in the dark. The icon of Halloween returns. No. Oh. With this Ultimate Edition action figure featuring over 25 points of articulation. The icon of Halloween? Really? Really, NECA? Come on, you've got the Halloween license. Why are you even saying that? I get why they're saying it, but still, it's stupid. Oh, he comes with a Velcro fastener. And shows off the figure here. And looks really good here in the promo pics. And as you can see on the figure itself, he comes with three different masks. He does come with his... um. Signature, I like scary movies. Voice changer, and all that stuff. So, includes knife, sight, voice changer, four interchangeable hands and heads. Heads and hands, it actually says in the box, but yeah. So, guys, let's cut him open. So, we have Ghostface out of the box. Now, the first thing I want to mention is. It's quite unfortunate that we couldn't get the actor's likenesses for this figure. But NECA have been clever and they have found a way to implement like most of the movies and TV show into this figure. So it is it is the ultimate goal, goal says. Now a lot of people want to know what the hell this was. Now in the Scream TV show made by MTV, Ghostface used this, although it was a different costume. The site was used in the TV show as a murder weapon. So that's one way of getting the TV show in there. Let's look at the other masks. This mask is the one from Stab in Scream 2. The bloody one is from Scream 3. And it's some really nice details on that. It's a cool blood splatter on it. And a dirty, kind of almost undead looking one, of course, is from Scream 4. So in the accessories, they have managed to get in all the movies. And of course, the one he's wearing is the classic ghost face mask from Scream 1. And of course, it's in all the others as well, except for the TV series until season 3. As for other accessories, he does come with his... Signature voice changer. He comes with two other hands for holding knives and, of course, the sight and stuff like that. He comes with another two knives as well. This very butcher knife looking one, which is kind of similar to the one that came with the, the Michael Myers Halloween Ultimate figure as well from the 2018 movie. And he comes with this knife as well. I think that one was in the second movie, but I do like the. How the blood is really like, it looks wet and fresh. And really disgusting. It's really nice effect on it. If you look at this one again though. There isn't that. That kind of wetty effect. It's more dry blood. And if you just take the. Let's take his weapon for a second. So I can show it to you up close. And this one is from definitely the first movie. You can see that there's a nice blood effect on that as well. And it looks like kind of dirty, deep blood. Which is all kinds of disgusting and ew. So yeah, that's the um, the accessories. Now I will show you the different heads in a moment. But first I want to look at the figure. Now a friend of mine, Michael McGrath, said he was a bit of an asshole to stand up. And he does fall over a lot. And that's due to the defeat. Being actually sh actual shoe feet. So he can be a little awkward to stand. 
but you can get him to stand. It's not impossible. Let's look at the articulation on old ghost face here. And let's start with the feet, like I mentioned them first. You've got the ankles to go around, and there's a bit of an ankle rocker on there as well. Now remember guys, this is a NECA. So be really, really careful when you're moving this guy around. Do it nice and slowly. As you can see here, it connects well. It goes all the way to the side, all the way to the side. You get a good kick in motion. And you've got a single jointed knee, which goes to the left and to the right. So very similar to the Halloween Michael Myers, actually, all the way. You do get, let's pull down his dress. <laughs> He's outfitted. You do get a bend here at the, the chest articulation. You go side to side, or forward and back a little bit. And you do get a bit of rotation, but again, you got to be careful of the costume. There is, like, I think there is a double jointed elbow. Because you wouldn't get that close to the face with a single joint. So, um, yeah, that's pretty good. The wrists, of course, as well. Get a, a pivot on those. They move around. Shoulders go out this far. Now, an interesting one about the head. So it goes up and down, left and right. When mine arrived, when I opened the box, the head was actually already disconnected from the neck peg so i panicked almost instantly but it just popped back on which i will show you now you have to be careful here because if you can see it on mine a little silver thing has come out of the hood so i be very careful with that i don't know how that happened but it's nothing game breaking the head pops off relatively easy and you're just left that cool like Grim Reaper looking thing. But you got the, the the ball joint is underneath. And here you have him with the green mask. Now I am told that this is glow in the dark. I haven't tried it yet. But I am going to try it this evening. And hopefully it will look awesome. Now the green does look really really good. And here you have him holding the voice changer as well. Do you like scary movies? Because I don't. I'm terrified. So yeah, that's the green. Let's try out the other ones. And here he is with the Scream 3 mask. As you can see, it looks really, really good on him. I've got the butcher's knife in his hand there now as well. And this guy is ready to go cause some damage to some teens. And yeah, I really, really like how each thing works. Now the for the last head, I'm actually going to show you how to put the head on. Because for me, I found there was... Um, there goes his hand popped off that can pop on it's, again it's fine i found there's a there's a knack to putting on these heads so you pull back the hood now coming off they're easy they pop right off but i found when again more of that silver crap so position the hood back in the circle and push it back on so you should have it no problem so as you can see the silver lining of the hood is coming off on mine which is a big disappointment really but it doesn't really take too much of the shape away but it is covering coming out of his mouth now which is very strange and there you have ghost face with the zombie head so yeah the, the masks are all really good the figure looks great. I don't have many complaints bar. Some of that silver lining is coming out of the hood, but I think what well, I think that's gonna come out of it fully eventually. So yeah guys, um what do you think of Ghostface? For me, he's definitely a decent figure. I could do with some um more figures in this scale for him to hunt. I don't have many at the moment. Here you have the Dragon Stars Goku, the WWE AJ Styles over there too. This one will work. Marvel Legends Gwen Stacy. So yeah guys, let me know what you think of the review below in the comments. And drop a subscribe if you please. 
That would be superb. And we'll see you on the next one. See you guys. Bye.